Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here with me today. Thank you very much for joining me. About eight hours ago, there was a magnitude 6.3 and then shortly afterwards a magnitude 5.2 along the Pescadero Fault Zone. There's volcanism in this location also. Yeah, we also have, let me bring this out, the Mid-Atlantic Trench, which is slowly moving towards the north a little bit northeast and this pescadero fault zone runs all the way across to the caribbean there is no tsunami warning you can see here we don't have any boys going off uh, they do have hurricane calvin down here the islands of hawaii on are on alert you can see the cone how it's supposed to be heading for the uh, big island of Hawaii. This earthquake was about 27 miles below sea level. 30 people sent in reports to USGS that they felt it. USGS gave it an intensity level of 8. Here you can see panel walls thrown out of frame, fall of walls, monuments, chimneys, sand, blowholes, Drivers of automobiles would have noticed it definitely. Here on Geoscope, it looks like the fault line moved going uh, towards the west. And it probably got locked and we got uplift. Yeah, they're lucky there was no tsunami. Three other reports that were sent into EMSC. Uh, one was 230 kilometers northeast which would be about 143 miles, says they were laying on their bed and felt them move. The bed was moving side to side. Another one, uh, it's not translated, but they're saying that the earthquake lasted quite a while and it was intense movement. Another one says they were laying on their bed and everyone else is sleeping, so they didn't feel it, but that was 664 five kilometers northeast so that would be about 413 miles northeast this area also has hydrothermal eruptions uh, there's cones that come up of hydrocarbonite chimneys other than the aftershock of the 5.2 yeah I tried to mark many of the um, other aftershocks um, I, I don't have them all put on here and this is also part of the uh, Gulf of California rift system. You can see another fault line that got drawn out here, which is the subduction of the mid-continent rift. Yeah, so it's slowly moving west, this fault zone. So who knows what's going to happen next. You just have to keep watching and be prepared. There is a history of large earthquakes. You can see in 1931, there was a magnitude 8.0. And that also was caused by the subduction of the Middle American Trench. You can see it drawn out all through here. And it goes all the way up. Yep, yeah, all the way up. Yep. Yeah. To the Gulf of California. Hard to believe that an earthquake this far down is still associated with the Gulf of California rift system. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.